Yo guys, welcome to this quick guide on Outland Mining and how to max this profession in the fastest way. So it's going to take you about an hour and 20 minutes. Maybe you can get it down to about an hour and 10 if you don't mind the fell iron ore after it is grayed out. So step one, you need to head to Shatrath City and we're going to head up here to pick up our Outland Mining from the trainer right here. As soon as you grab that, we're then going to start heading over to Nagrand and that's where we're going to get from level 1 to 75. So in Nagrand, we're going to follow this route that I've got on screen here. As you can see, it takes about 20 minutes to do a full lap and you're only going to need to do four and a quarter laps to get the profession maxed out. There is five caves along the way, which are always going to have at least two nodes inside. So one thing I'm not quite sure is whether just bouncing between these caves could actually be faster than doing this full loop. As you can see from my gatherer 2 add-on, I didn't get that many nodes outside of these caves. So if you do decide to just follow the caves and bounce between them, please post below on how fast it was. So here's me finishing up with the profession on this character. As you can see with me pausing the timer here, it did take an hour and 18 minutes. But as I said, I was still mining that fell iron ore on the way around after it was grayed out, which happens, I believe, around level 25 or something. The materials that you're going to gather from getting this profession maxed is something similar to this. We've got a few different gems and then we've got 74 fell iron ore, uh, 305 adamantite ore and 13 corium. 46 Eternium. So actually you can make a bit of gold as well whilst doing this in that short hour that it takes. So guys, hopefully you found this guide helpful. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button and like the video and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming onto the channel soon. Cheers guys.